Welcome back. Got another video for you guys. Best things you can get if you're 3D printing. I got a whole bunch of stuff over here. Let's get into it. Hey guys, my name is Anton. I do content on all things 3D printing and pretty awesome creations. So if you have a 3D printer thinking of getting into the hobby or just like seeing people create pretty awesome stuff, please hit the sub button down below. It's completely free. You won't regret it. I promise you, if this video helps you, helps you out, smash the thumbs up button. It greatly helps me out. So let's get into it. All right. So you just bought your 3D printer or you've had one for a while. And you're kind of like, what should I prepare myself for this hobby? What are certain things that I should get that would be helpful when I'm doing my creations? These are going to be in no order at all, but I'm going to give you top tools that I've been using for 3D printing and I would highly recommend for you guys. The link will be down in the description for all of these tools. So be sure to check them out if you think any of these will be helpful for you. So we're going to start from my left to right. So right here, the first thing I would say is soldering iron. Soldering irons are very important if you're, uh, if you have a small 3D printer, like an Ender 3, and you have something you sliced in half, you're going to want to get it together. Soldering irons help you PLA weld. Just about anything is able to be done that way. If you're working with wires and electronics with your 3D prints, you're going to need one. Get a soldering iron. Does not have to be anything fancy. I got mine. I actually got a little bit more of a fancy one for like $20. Uh, it's a little bit of a better tip on it. Heats up a little bit nicer. It's got LED lights. I actually like that. You need to spend about $30 on a good soldering iron or just five bucks from any store. It'll be fine. Next. This one I've been starting using recently. Now this may not be a tool that everybody needs for 3D printing, but I still use it and highly recommend it for those who are doing cosplay, larger prints. This kind of, this is a heat gun, right? So all this is, is for getting your PLA prints or honestly any plastic prints heated up so you can slowly mold them and bend them after they're printed so they can fit perfectly around you. I use this for my Iron Man suit for the apps to perfectly fit around me. There's been other projects I've used this heat gun for just to slightly adjust certain things. It's really nice. It's again, probably about a $30 product that you can get. It's very useful. I highly recommend it. They can go upwards of $50 if they're brand new. Look for uh, used Amazon warehouse deals. I highly recommend those. That's how I got mine. Uh, I've used this. I can't say I use this daily, but it's been a very helpful tool. And I highly recommend if you're looking into cosplay 3D printing, to get one of these. Next, this one is good for anyone. It's almost a must have. It's a nice knife set. Now this is a specific knife set for kind of 3D printing focused. You have different kinds of blades, sizes, and they're interchangeable, different handles. Cheap, very cheap, 10 to 15 bucks for this kind of thing. I use this daily. You're gonna be cleaning supports off your 3D prints. Doesn't matter what kind of printer, what you're printing, what sizes, any 3D printer needs to have one of these. Highly, highly recommend it. They're really cheap. You get a whole bunch of blades, you're gonna use it. Next, also a very, very cheap, but very, very important tool, a nice set of pliers. I use these guys all the time. Now, these I had before I started 3D printing. I'm getting a whole set of different sizes of pliers. They're very, very useful with just a plethora of uses. But one in particular is again, cleaning those pesky supports. The others are gonna be electronics. If you're starting to do something really crazy with your 3D prints, electronics, etc., you're gonna to wanna to have nice pliers. Really recommend you getting some. If you're gonna be fixing your 3D printer, you wanna have some tools, get you a nice pair of pliers. Next, okay, this one is the most used tool for me. I don't promise that it'll be the most used tool for you. It depends if you're making large prints and you're planning on painting them or if you're doing small prints. It's this sander. This sander has had probably three days of nonstop work poured into it. Quite literally, I put hours and hours into this sander. You sand all the dang time. This will really, really expedite your process and give you much, much better end results in your post work if you sand everything. Now I got a whole bunch of different ones. I start with 80 grit. I also recommend you get yourself some smaller grits, 180 up to about 500. You will use it a whole bunch if you're doing cosplay printing, large prints, helmets, that sort of thing. You really want to get rid of those layer lines. I promise you, you are going to use this. Now, if you're doing only smaller prints, you aren't going to need this. This is kind of overkill. What you will want to use though for it is a rotary tool. Rotary tools 
Uh, it's a similar concept, but it's built a little bit differently. It just spins really quickly, rotary tool, duh. But you have a sander on the side of it with a whole bunch of sockets, all different types of ends you can add onto it. You can do it for different applications, but if you wanna sand smaller prints and get the smaller details, which when I'm printing my large stuff, there are a lot of deals, details this guy can't get well. I use the rotary tool, but if everyone has small prints at least, You'll definitely want to use one of those if you want to get nice detail before you paint your stuff. Rotary tool, again, not a terribly expensive tool to have. Of course, you can always get a nice, simple set of a whole bunch of sanding paper. Um, I got myself an assortment on Amazon, varying of all the grits. It's just good to have. You're going to want to use this, especially once you get into wet sanding. It's it, The difference between going into 300 grits and like 1,000 grits will show in your post work. Very, very cheap to have, very, very useful for your post work stuff. Including that is wood filler. Listen, this wood filler has fixed a lot of blemishes for my prints. I don't love having to use this, but whenever there's an issue, a layer line missed, something went wrong, I'm fixing something, I messed up with my soldering iron during welding, this guy fixes it all. Wood filler, it's really, really cheap. I've bought this guy and it still lasted me for about four months now. It's, it's very, very useful. I highly recommend it. It goes just about for any prints, um, but especially the larger ones when you have bigger blemishes, you'll want to use this. It's very sandable. Really want one of these. Now, there's a couple objects that are not on my table that I highly recommend for you to get for 3D printing. Number one is Octoprint. Now, Octoprint, all it is, if you're completely new to 3D printing, is a Raspberry Pi that's made specifically for 3D printing. With it, there's a ton of stuff you can do, and I'll have a link right here in the corner for you guys of what I recommend using Octoprint for and how I just install it if you wanna watch me doing that. But it basically is a great monitoring tool for your 3D printer. If your 3D printer doesn't come with a camera, all sorts of stuff, I use it for monitoring. Now, there is stuff that I recommended in my video from a long time ago, a whole bunch of different add-ons. They're useful and cool, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, after that video, I have not used them that much. It's been usually the camera and using that just to monitor and make sure my prints are going successfully. That has been the biggest thing for me. It costs you about 50 to $60. It's gonna be one of the more expensive things you do, but it's kind of a 3D printer upgrade. I enjoy it all the time. I use it all the time. It gives me a warning if some of my uh, levels are way too hot, way too cold, something's going off, and you know, it saved me on filament because of failures. The other product that is not on here because it is being used on my 3D printer right in the corner of the camera which you guys can't see is a Wham Bam. Now a Wham Bam is a flexible bed that's magnetic. I had the hardest time for a long while getting my prints off the bed and eventually I destroyed the bed. I absolutely destroyed it. And I needed something new. And I decided, you know what, why don't I invest myself into a Wham Bam? Again, one of the more expensive things you'll use if you have a larger build plate on your 3D printer, but it is something that you will get your money justified in the long run because it doesn't get damaged quickly. You save so much time. You don't break your prints. It's just a quick flex. You get your prints off of it. Highly, highly recommend it. The other product that Wham Bam actually has and I have been using recently, and I do like it, and it's pretty cheap. It's about $20, is a slap mat. Now, this costs 20 bucks. Uh, there's a code down below. Amazon, you can get yourself a discount for these. Uh, if you're soldering, if you're working on Octoprint, if you're working on uh, any sort of electronics, this is really nice because it actually can withstand the heat from a soldering iron for a while. Glue, you get that on there. Resin, if you're resin printing, this guy will get all that resin. If you put it on there, flex it, pops it all off, cleans it super quickly. Really, really recommend it. It's awesome. Now. These two items are not really super big, but they're worth mentioning. No one, get some safety glasses, okay? When you're sanding and you're working with stuff, find your eyes, really want to have some safety glasses. And the last but not least, it's not really a tool, but you do need it for 3D printing is kind of a given is filament. Now, the reason I wanted to mention it in this video before ending it, it's really important what kind of filament you get. I really recommend this PLA Plus by Duramic. It's one of the more expensive filaments, but if you're doing large, bulky prints for cosplay, this is my go-to. It has never failed me. It gives me the cleanest, the best prints. Now, if you're looking for basic PLA prints, nothing crazy. I love the Amazon Basics. It's also linked in the description. I have used several other companies and the quality has been seriously different. Very much different. Amazon has been great. Sometimes they're out of stock, sometimes they are. So, but I can't justly recommend any other company as of yet, but I love Amazon's basics PLA. It's been the cheapest. It's been my go-to for any of the colors. I love it, highly recommend it. 
That's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you, it helped you in any sort of way, smash the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. You won't regret it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.